Over the next few videos we're going to create the Pong game again but we're going to use object orientated programming which makes more sense for gaming. Um, in this first video we're just going to draw the screen and then we're going to add the different components as the videos progress. Okay, so we're going to start with the same imports um, as our previous version of Pong. Um, uh, the only difference is this is going to be object orientated. So my game is going to be um, set within a class and I'm going to call that class um, game. And um, we're going to put uh, everything in here. Obviously we're going to have our other classes for the ball and the bat and everything outside of here and they'll be drawn on in here. Um, just like our previous um, program I need to define the colours. So I'm just going to go for a white and um, a black but of course you can go um, for whatever colours you choose to use. So just get those 0, 0, 0. If you haven't seen the previous videos, that would really be helpful, make this a lot easier. So um, when this um, the object for this class is created, um, I need to um, initialize it first. And in this case, what I want to do is gain access to the Pygame method. So I've got to call the pygame um, init method and then I want to create the screen that everything's going to be written to and I'm just going to call mine screen and obviously it's self.screen because screen is defined within the game class so that's going to be pygame dot display again you've seen all this before set mode and I'll go for, oh, it's got to be a tuple, so we need another pair of brackets there. 640, comma, 480. Um, you can go for whatever size you like, it's going to have to fit later on. So that's all we've got to do when we initialize it. Um, then I'm going to define um, the, you know, how the things actually play. By that I mean how the program actually is going to run. So we've got... Um, Pi game, I'm sorry, play.self, it's going to take a version of self, and then this is where I'm going to put my um, my while loop. Of course, we know runs forever unless we get out of it. In fact, how do we get out of it? Well, we exit out of it. So that's um, what we're going to do here. So I'm going to say um, for, e gosh, bad. for event in, and it doesn't have to be event, That's I'm just choosing to call that pi game dot. Um, event um, dot get so if um, we get um, an event there then what we're going to do well if the event is of type quit then what are we going to do well we want to exit out of our program so we're going to um, you call pygame quit and we're going to call sys.exit. Okay, so that's not going to do anything at the moment because, of course, every time we go through, we're going to want to draw the screen. So we're going to go self.draw. Now we haven't defined draw um, yet. We're going to make that our next method that we use. So let's call that um, def draw and there we go. So what we're going to do with draw doesn't need to take any other parameters. Well, we're going to say self dot screen um, dot fill. Each time we want to make the background white, just like we did before. So this time it's going to have to get game dot white. It's got to get it. Um, it's going to get that know what white is by going up here, and then we're going to update this and um, display. So pi game dot display dot update so that's it and obviously if I run this at the moment nothing will happen and fact, I'll do that now and nothing's happened it's just gone straight through and um, because it doesn't know what to do it's, we haven't called our class so we haven't created an object of our class so I'm going to do that now so we're going to do game and then we're going to so that creates the uh, an object of type game and then we're going to call and um, play so if I run this now and I get my window um, here 
Um, if I want to do this really proper, use proper um, in you know, the correct way of doing this, I should say if um, this if name underscore oh, sorry, if that equals main, and I'll explain what this means when I've written it. Let's delete. Return. Okay, so now it won't actually look any different when I run this. I'm going to run it again. It still comes there. The only difference this makes, it means if I actually want to use this in another um, piece of um, code somewhere else where I call on this file, um, then in that case this won't run because this is running automatically within this file at the moment. However, if this is my main file, my start file if you like, then um, it's classed as main, so it will run the program. And it's really the correct way of doing it. I hope that you found this video helpful. There's a link to the code in the description below. Stay in Infield with Winfield.